Okay, hi guys. Happy 2019. Uh, happy Chinese New Year. Uh, I'm back after like uh, I think close to five to six months. So uh, why am I gone? Is um, basically I became a dad, so I got a baby girl. Yay! Okay, so a lot of sleepless nights and a lot of crying. I couldn't get a quiet environment like this to actually film a video so it's actually quite hard so I'm making arrangement now right so when my kids is not here right then we, we will have a video so in 2019 um, this is the plan okay we're gonna make videos short and compact and easy to understand and we're gonna keep things really really uh, interesting and very very direct Okay, so uh, today's topic basically is uh, what will happen in 2019, what is the upcoming trend, uh, what is my prediction and my thoughts about it. Okay, let's go! So, um, we're gonna touch on three different topics, okay? And uh, not three, but uh, one, two, three, maybe four, four different topics. So the first thing, let's do it. Private property, new launches. Okay, so... Um, New launch in private property. This is a very interesting thing. So we're gonna keep everything really short. Maybe like maybe three minutes video. Okay. So let's hope I can do it and I can like give you the best information in the shortest time. Okay. So um, why am I looking on my onto my phone now, right? Because uh, basically I just received a list. Okay, a list of uh, the total number of new launches that's going to come this year. So uh, surprisingly, due to the M block that was happening like in two zero one seven two zero one eight, right? Uh, most of the M block will be launching their sales this year, and also we have the government land sales that has been ongoing, and uh, all these things has add up to a lot, a lot, a lot of supplies in the market for this year and next year. So for this year alone, we have close to twenty five thousand units available. Okay, so this is a big problem now. Main, mainly the the big the biggest problem is not whether you should buy or not, but what you should buy. So everyone will be thinking like, oh, which one should I buy? You know, there's so many choices. Uh, I think by visiting show flat, uh, you will have like maybe every weekend you, you can visit a new show flat. So this is what is going to come in 2019. So this is also a good thing because when there's a higher supply, okay, um, there will be more choices and developers will be more price sensitive. So uh, you'll, be, you'll be seeing prices that is more reasonable and maybe uh, more realistic that match the market situation. But uh, when I say that, right, I, I always want to um, reassure and reaffirm this thing is that uh, because I have this buyer that, that messaged me about this Farrell, Farrell Park Road, Farrell Park, around Farrell Park area. So he was asking me, is this like above a thousand per square feet? When I saw the message, I was like, oh my God, you know, that okay. Just to make this short, okay, uh, all Singaporeans, uh, I think it's very hard to get anything below a thousand square feet now. Okay, even our ECs launching this year, right, on average, I think it's about a thousand square feet. So we are, we are away, okay, we, we are not in the past anymore. So if you get anything below a thousand square feet in the new launch, right, you better buy it, okay. So in my opinion, I think there's only one or two that, that is left with about that price plus minus. May, may not be a thousand, maybe a thousand one hundred. Okay, so basically, um... Orchard Road is about 3,000 over square feet now. Uh, in Sengkang Pongo area, uh, we have some at about 1,000 plus minus. Not, not below 1,000, but 1,000 to 1,200. Near Tampines is also around this price, a bit more. So um, this is the future of Singapore. Okay, face the fact. Huh? So new launches, we have a lot of supplies coming up, close to about 25,000 units. And this year, the trend is very special. We have projects that's a 1,000 over units per project or 2,000 over units per project. We have a lot of these Kampong Village style projects coming up. So this is something that if you are interested, you can look into it. Uh, one thing is there will be a lot of facilities in this kind of project. Secondly, uh, the maintenance fee that you pay uh, in quarterly basis will also be lower because it's being shared by a lot of people. Okay, And uh, I will actually really suggest that if you want to buy a property now, right? I think now is a very good time. Uh, one of the reasons that I have is that because the government came out with this car light district and all these things, so next time in some areas, right, you won't have one to one car park anymore. So for this year, we still have like properties with one to one car park, which is important for me, like you know, when I buy a condo, at least I need one car park lot, right? One, right? Okay, so 
so this is going to change next time when you buy a condo 400 units you may only have 200 car park lots okay so um there's also other reasons we won't touch on it we will just expand it in other videos so um for now that's it for new launch private property so the next question is resale hdb okay resale hdb uh very very boring okay so I'll, I'll just tell you it's very very boring the reason is because uh, I can't think of a reason why people will buy resale HDB now mainly people are selling away their HDB to move to a private property because they realize that the gap is getting bigger so in the next few years even if their HDB uh, inflates and the price increase right they, they will still not be able to sell and buy a private property it's still going to be very difficult so people are entering the market to get a private property now so I, I don't see a reason why um, who is buying HDB? So recently, I have customers that are downgrade from a private property. I have customers that is shifting because of the, the kids schools, but they are also selling and buying. So it's going to have a difficulty when they sell and buy. You see, because if you have a difficulty selling, if you never sell, you can't buy. So um, there's still going to be very very little movement in this selling and buying for HDB, and prices is going still going to stay all time low and age determines the price of the property so we are 2019 we are older now so there's still there's a lot of properties that just hit the uh, withdrawal limit for cpf so same for this uh, prices is not going to be good it's still going to stay there um maybe the newer hdb flats will be more popular you know uh, those that just got five years and they are allowed to sell or those within the 5 to 15 years age so nothing much to talk about again okay? nothing fantastic okay let's move on private resale market okay private resale market is, is very interesting now um many private resale market if you look into the chart right for the past one two three years uh, they may not be earning money anymore it's going to be a st very stagnant may not even be growth so if you look back right today's pricing uh, is maybe also a 2017 pricing many of the private owners are also considering selling it away to reset their portfolio meaning that they are going for newer properties okay so that because newer properties normally in the first five years we will see the best growth okay so um many people are selling it away you know but uh the trick is the resale private property market is always very strong you know uh, out of 10 sellers in a project in a condo project you will only find like two or three serious sellers the other seven are really not serious in order to identify them it's very easy the marketing price are way beyond the market price and the other three that is that is more uh, serious you'll see them selling at market price or below market price and actually um, it's quite negotiable as in in terms that they are willing to talk they are willing to come to terms you know on how to get it you know like whether uh, this price is okay they are willing to discuss but if you see private owners that is not willing to discuss they, they are all going for money okay and uh, some of the more serious sellers are those that are investment units Meaning that they are rental units uh, or they already vacant it, they either sell it away or they're going to find a next tenant. So these are the best units to buy and these best units to enter. They will most likely be more reasonable and more realistic in their pricing. Um, nothing going to change because uh, with the additional buyer stamp duty come, uh, that already came like last year, I don't see an uh, increase in prices for the private resale. It's going to stay there or maybe a bit of increment, you know. But um, it's very hard. Looking at the new launches prices that's coming in, they're so price sensitive that the resale property will, will not be able to leverage on them also. So that's it for private resale. Okay, we're going very fast, right? I hope I'm not talking too fast. I hope you get all the information correctly. Uh, in the next few videos, right, we will actually go more into the statistics, the facts, and why my prediction is like this, okay? So for private for rental, right? Whether is it private or HDB, uh, it will still remain the same, uh, or it may may even drop lower. The reason is because our rental is at an all time low. You know, we have so many properties that is, uh, TOP get keys, new launch get keys. You know, tenants are all looking for a better property, a cheaper choice, a newer choice. So the situation has been happening for the past two years is that when there's a new launch come out in the next three blocks away or next street away, the tenant from this old property will go to the new launch. Because every time when there's a new launch that comes out, right, um, it also means that, that most of the landlord there is looking for a tenant. So there will be very high competition. So the tenant from the 
property, the first property may just move to the new property. You know, so that there's a lot of movement going on, you know, tenant don't stay at one place provided like you give them a good price. So let's say this year he's renting at 3000 then there's a new launch coming up opposite. If the new launch opposite is just 3000 or 3200 he may even consider because it's new. Okay, the facilities is new, you know, so there, there's a lot of negotiation going on. If, um, I, I think it's almost hard or almost impossible to increase the rental price, you know, so I have landlord asking me, hey Aaron, can, can we increase the rental price for this year? Can we increase the rental price for the next renewal? It's, it's really very hard because the competition is so strong. There's so many supplies for rental in the market, so many choices. So, um... Too bad the landlord is at the mercy of the tenant. Okay, so um, hopefully, if the tenant renew at the same price, I would say grab it. It's a good deal. Um, my advice for rental is always uh, do not leave it empty because when you leave it empty, you lose money. So that that is one important point that I always touch on. Okay, so um, it's going to be an interesting year. Okay, twenty five thousand new launch units in the market is going to be really, really, really complicated and you guys will be thinking like what to buy and everything so for 2019 okay for 2019 um if you like my video you 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 want to find out more about the property market please subscribe to my youtube channel okay or you can uh, visit this website which is linked to my youtube channel which is www.885884 com it's actually my handphone number so I, I actually bought the the website the url so when you go to this website it will just link to my youtube hopefully you can subscribe give me a like you know um if there's more people subscribing i feel more motivated to do more videos okay so um